Good afternoon, everybody. Christian here. Today, I do have a prophetic word to share with you. Uh, this one came to me while I was out sitting where I like to sit when I'm doing my prayer. And uh, as I was sitting there, I was praying. I was just looking out at this valley and field that's uh, outside of my apartment complex there. And as I'm sitting there looking at this, I hear the Lord say, I'm going to fill it. And I know he's speaking about the valley. And I know that there are some verses regarding that. Uh, filling of the valley and, and, and uh, the lowering of uh, the mountains, making uh, your paths straight. I know I don't remember the verse um, verbatim, but I, I, I'm thinking about those verses as I as I hear that. And I'm like, okay, I, I know that the Lord is speaking about He's going to fill a void. He's going to, um, a deficit is going to be filled. And that deficit could be more than one thing. It can be a mental deficit. It can be um, spiritual, physical, financial. I think it's all of those things. But there was more there. I knew there was more that he was speaking here that I just didn't, I wasn't picking up on. So I needed to do a study and understand better what a valley is representing, you know. So I went and I um, did what I like to do. I just typed in the word Bible colon valley and on Google and uh, boom, got a whole bunch of verses speaking about valleys. And so I read those and then I read some other people's uh, insights on, on uh, valleys. And it was very enlightening, very insightful. And I, I was really encouraged by it. So I, I encourage you to do that. I will give you a little rough overview of what the Holy Spirit has been speaking to me regarding this situation. So basically, a valley, as we all know, is uh, maybe referenced in your own life as you're like, I'm going through a hard time, right? Though I passed through the valley of the shadow of death. Um, but it's not only that, but this is a part of what the Lord is speaking to us. So this valley that God is speaking to me about, and I'm speaking to you because he's speaking that to you, is that there is a battle going on, okay? I mentioned um, Gideon a couple of videos back, one or two, I can't remember. And I was talking to you guys about what the Lord was doing, and he's preparing us, and he's doing the separation that's going on. But Gideon was told at one point in time to go down to the enemy's camp, and they were camped in this valley. And he heard uh, a telling of a dream by the enemy, that basically was prophesying of the destruction that was about to befall them by Gideon. And it encouraged Gideon, right? But it also was in a valley. It took place, this battle took place in the valley. And that was oftentimes what would happen throughout the scriptures. And it's interesting because the Lord said the promise that he's taking you to is a land of valleys. And it also tells us that the Canaanites and others lived in these valleys. And so what we've been going through right now is the Lord has called us into the promised land and we've been fighting and we've been taking ground, but it, it's, it's, a, it's a war that's been going on. And the Lord is saying he's about to turn that. He, he's, he's going to turn the tide. He's going to fill up the valley and he's going to move mightily on our behalf to give us the victory, which he also had me do when I was out there praying was to prophetically um, give a shout of victory. That was hard for me to do. Um, I just didn't feel it. I just didn't, I didn't want to do that, you know. But the Lord pressed on me to do it, and I felt that I had to, and so I did, and I made that proclamation, you know, in this, in this spiritual sense, uh, prophetically. And the Lord was just encouraging me with that, which I started to show me what a valley was, Yes, there are difficulties in the valley, but and there are enemy, you know, that we need to do battle with in, in, in the valley. It's where wars are fought, but it's also where judgment happens in the valley of decision. And whenever you find yourself in a situation we're in right now where we have judgment going on, it's, it's been happening, but it's also going to continue to happen. Uh, the separation going on, and there's also a um, taking of a land, right? That means you take it from somebody else. So the enemy has occupied it, and now you're taking it from them. But also, the valley is interesting because, though it is a negative, you know, in a lot of people's minds, it's also a positive because those valleys, they, the scripture says that it drinks in the rain. 
And that's you know where you got this very fertile land that produces literally the wealth of the world. Um, I can't remember which book it was. I was reading some book and they were talking about how every nation is wealthy or not based on whether or not they're prosperous in their agriculture. If they have excess in agriculture, they can then go on to other things and build you know greater and better everything. But without that, they spend all their time trying to produce food just to sustain themselves, just to survive, right? And so the, the blessing starts with the sowing of the seed and the blessing of that seed. That's the ground that you sow it into. I mean, if, if that's not blessed, nothing else is going to happen. So it's just a little side note there. But basically, I've been encouraged by the Lord. He's telling me that this is this battle is going to turn and you're going to be given that land and it is a very very fruitful land it is good land i uh, don't let anyone tell you otherwise they did that in you know the store mm -hmm.